Hey gamers, it's Tuesday, it's 8 p.m., that means it's time for a little, little tiny, itty bitty, teeny weeny, uh, hour long mini stream. Thanks for subscribing, Worma, appreciate that. How's it going, how's it hanging? Um, I, I checked if anything video game happened today on Twitter, and I don't think anything happened. I don't think anything happened, uh... But that's disappointing. I like when things happen. But instead, nothing happened. Oh well. I guess this means we're just gonna have to play Max Payne. Sigh. Okay, set the category. There it is, Max Payne. I got confused, because when you type Max into the category, the first thing that shows up is some, like, uh, Chinese letters and the word Max, and I, I don't know what game that is. It scares me. Alright, good. My stuff adjusted here. What do we got? What do we got? Who put it where? Why they put it where they did? Why they put it there? Oh, there we go. About to say, I forgot how to capture video game. All right, it's time to continue. There's this, this. Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing, Shingo. Pre-order Glover on Steam. Mm. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to be. I, I, I forgot. I forgot the story here. Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years. We saw this, we saw this cutscene last time, but I don't remember what happened. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Let's just wait for them to stop talking. Mr. Payne, I'd like to introduce you to my colleague. Actually, let's not. We saw this last time, who cares? Okay, so, oh, hold on. I was about to talk, but now I'm not allowed to talk, because there's just bad men shooting me. Okay, oh! So, Glover is... Glover's on Steam. Glover's going on Steam. Okay, so, so so here's the thing, here's the thing. The rights to Glover got bought out by this company. Um... How do I get up here? Can I get up here? Oh! I thought it was a platform, it's stairs. I'm so confused. Okay, so the rights to Glover... Got bought up by this company, I think it's called, like, like Plinko Interactive or something? I don't know, but what this company does is they, they buy rights to certain old things. Old games. And typically what they do is they, they re, um... What's the word? They, a lot of times they're just, like, repackaging it with minor polishes and putting it out. Like, I know they have a few, like, older, like, cartridge-based games for Super Nintendo, maybe the Sega or the NES or something. And, you know, they did repro cartridges and they sell them. So, so, here's the thing, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how to feel about this company. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll, we'll get to the Glover part in a second here, but... I'm not sure because, um... You know... Uh, okay, they're, they're they're buying games that you know they didn't originally make. They 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 only own the licensing because they bought it, and you know that's fine. That's hey, thanks for subscribing, sad crabs. That's a grenade. Um, you know they're they're, they're buying the rights and they're polishing it up and they're re-releasing it. But the thing is, you know, it's stuff that would have been it's stuff that would have been you know owned by nobody that would have become public domain. If they hadn't done that. So it's like they're taking something that would have kind of ended up unowned. Oh no no, I I thanked Worma. I, I thanked Worma when I was doing my little introduction. Um it's one of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. On screen the so-called corpse of Alfred Wooden. Stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. 
I didn't know how he'd pull it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too. Well, to be a load of crap. Okay, so, so, so like I'm saying, yeah, it's kind of like they're buying up licenses for things that would have become abandoned wear and selling it. Now, now, it's not like they're just throwing that shit out there, you know, as is, and making money off it. They are doing, you know, they're buying the rights and, and, and they're often, you know, polishing it up, like making it more playable. I know for some of the cartridge-based games, like, often what they get ends up being like a debug ROM, and they're like putting in patches to remove the debug stuff to make it more like a polished game, etc, etc. Like, in the case of Glover, they act- rather than porting the original PC version of Glover to Steam or running it through, like, an emulator, because there was a PC version of Glover, um, I don't believe it was very compatible with many modern systems, um, rather than doing that, they're taking the literal source code for the N64 version, and they've reported that to PC. Brand new, apparently. So it's a much... Supposedly, the game's not out yet. Supposedly, it's a much better PC port than the original PC port from the time period. Um, so it's not like they're just throwing shit out there and making money off of pre-existing stuff. They are putting effort into it. But at the same time, it's like... You know, they, they also... That they, they also go after people. Well, well, no, they don't go after people. They 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 take down downloads to ROMs of their new fixed up games. Like oftentimes, you know, a lot of their older the stuff they put out is like Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis games. And apparently, they will go. They'll find downloads of it online, and they're taking those downloads down. And okay, I get it. Like they have that right to do that because they bought the rights to it. But it's like I'm. I, I'm not gonna buy a reproduction cartridge of a Super Nintendo game to play it on, on my Super Nintendo. My Super Nintendo is buried somewhere at my parents' house. A videotape lay on the desk along with a letter. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side. I took the tape. I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Yeah, so, so like I was saying, like I'm not gonna buy a Super Nintendo cartridge to play to play this game. Like I I want to throw this on an emulator and play it from the convenience of my computer. You know? And I don't believe they offer them a lot of them in you know PC form like that or in ROM form. You have to buy it on the plastic. And and I have a hard time saying you know this sucks because they are putting effort into fucking printing it up, into fixing parts, into removing debug shit, into making it playable. Like I said, apparently they ported Glover all over again to PC from source code. So it's not like there's zero effort. But at the same time... Wouldn't have left me a present. Wouldn't have taken care of my mission perhaps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. So it's like they absolutely have the right to take, you know, to take people down. They have the legal right to take down downloads of their fixed up games and everything. They have the right, but... Oh, look, triplets. They have... There's pain. Kill the bastard. They have the right. But I don't want to give them money for, like, a super fucking Nintendo game. That's what it comes down to. I don't want to pay you money for a super Nintendo game or a Sega Genesis game. I just don't. Well, I guess desks are invulnerable to bullets. That's what it comes down to for me, you know? So I, 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 I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just have a... CIA, FBI, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Sure, good for a practice run. But this, working for her, this is the real thing. 
The money's astronomical. At best of all, you get to kill any scumbag that gets in your way. License to kill, like James Bong. Like, uh, like... I'm... I'm not happy. I'm... I, let me just say right now, I am not happy... ...with my opinion of them. With my thoughts on them, because... Like I said, it's it's not just a... It's not a flip. They are fixing stuff up. They are putting work into it. They're literally porting Glover over. So I am not actually happy with my current thoughts of it. It's just, that's my gut feeling. That's what my initial thoughts whenever I, I don't put too much thought into it. Is I don't want to pay money for Super Nintendo games anymore. So maybe it's more a thing where I need to reevaluate what I value? How I value things? I, I don't know. It's... it's uh, I don't know. I guess my point is, um... If, if I want to play Glover, I'm going to download the N64 ROM and play it in an emulator. I'm not going to pre-order it on Steam. I guess one one way to think is like if instead of being put out by this company that purchased the rights Oh fuck. The elevator doors were sealed. I'd have to override the security. I don't like hearing this noise! Fuck! I jumped instead of diving! Just just kill me. Just kill me now. Holy shit, that's horrible! I took my oh, cat, get out of here! I'm playing video games. God. Okay, let's go in real quick and see if we can turn off this alarm because I, I hate this. I'm trying to talk about the ethics of, of, of gaming. Um... Please? Who's even shooting me? I can't see! Where'd you come from? Oh, thank fuck. Okay, so... Before my brain exploded from a siren alarm, um... So I guess one way to think of it is... If instead of this company that bought the rights to it was selling it... If instead of them, if it was instead in the hands of the original creators, the people who coded the game, and they were selling it, would I feel the same way? Would I still not want to pay for it? I feel like if it was being sold by the people who coded the game originally, I'd be much more inclined to pay for it. The switch lifted level 1 security, I could reach the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the other locks and get to her office. You know, I, I feel like I'd be more inclined to pay for it, yeah. It's kind of like how with, you know... It's a similar thing to how recently there was those ports of, like, Quake and stuff to, like, the Switch. And it was done by someone who I have, I have, I have respect for, the modern vintage gamer guy who was 
one of the OG, you know, Xbox, um, what do you call it, Xbox, um, homebrew guys who ported a lot of, encoded a lot of Xbox emulators when the original Xbox got homebrew, and he's been in the scene for a long time, you know? And in that case, like, even though I, why is there, like, a Max Payne, like, desktop icon over there? Um, and, and, like, in this case, even though I respect the guy, I, I do, like, it's, it's still, like, having its, its extra li extra life? Extra life? Is this the first time I've seen an extra life? What the fuck? Um, yeah, so even though I respect the guy, it's like, I mean, I'm sure he... I'm, sh I'm sure the port is great, and I know the guy does good coding, because I've seen his videos and shit. All Horn's locks were now offline, all bets were off, the elevator would take me all the way up. So even though I respect the guy, and I like his work, and he does great stuff, it's like... It's Quake, you know? It's, it's, it's Quake! I, I, it's old enough, and it's like, uh... I mean, while he did he did the porting work and everything, I mean he didn't make Quake. So does he deserve the money? I mean, I guess he does. But uh, see, it's one of those things where I'm not sure how to feel. I am not sure how to feel about this. I'm just not. Because it's very similar to that, except I don't respect this company that bought the rights. Where I respect MVG because he's cool, I don't respect the company that bought the rights to Glover. Because, I mean, they're just a company, I don't know nothing about them. I, I, so, so I don't know how to feel, I don't know how to feel about it. Ping. Oh, no. Looking good. Looking good. Back. We gotta stop meeting like that. It will be a cold day in hell before I let an art cop stop me. Miss Sax, do your job. Miss <laughs> Sax. Alright, I have to shoot a lady. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. They're both she very smiley. Intimately. They hungered for revenge. I like how they smile while they shoot people. No! Oh no! No, the smiley woman! No! She was cool! Stone Cold Killer. And now she was Stone Cold Dead. The religious fanatics are loyal samurai horns private army was coming at me. I miss her. When the elevator came back down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear. As if somewhere high above, the storm clouds were already gone. Cold stars blazing from the black skies. Oh! Oh shit, okay, hold on. I didn't realize there was gonna just be boys down here. Ding! Are there more boys? Boys for me? Nope, just an elevator. Wait, can I shoot through here? Cause I have my doubts and I just wasted some slow-mo. I can't shoot through here. It's like, it's like molten fucking, like, super metal. I don't even know how to get in here. Is this the entrance? There we go. But yeah, that, that, that's my dilemma. That's my dilemma. Let's see here. Of paper. Paper. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno. Ooh. The above. Internet Take porno? I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. Oh, what was I doing with Norton Ghost earlier? Uh, well, we'll talk about it on Saturday. I feel like that'll be more, more appropriate for our Saturday Steam. Steam? Stream. Duh, I hate to be stereotyped. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. I'm a nice guy. 
Uh, I love my wife. I have two boys. I'm very proud of. Just gotta make the ends meet, right? Yeah, man. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. It's pain. Kill the bastard. Kill the bastard. Kill the bastard. Oh no. I have created two orphans and one widow. Oh well. It's pain. Kill the. Oh. They're all saying the same thing. What's wrong with them? I like how they could get off like four shots before I got control of Max Payne. And I like how none of those shots connected. Sure, I'm glad I got that one up earlier. Oh, come on! See, he, they got shots off before I could move! What is this horse shit? Ugh. What a load. Dead. I'll take your painkillers to heck. Pump action. I have a sawed off. I don't need no stinking pump action. Oh, let's get the M4 out. This looks. Uh, never mind. I thought this was gonna be the, the, the final encounter, but we're just out here in Snowsville. Any chance of me actually playing Max Payne 2? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I would have to actually play the original PC version on, on my own first. Of Max Payne 1. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll, I'll consider it. Who's shooting at me? I literally can't see in front of myself. Well, for a GBA game, this looks amazing. Yeah! Shame about, you know, not being able to see in front of me. Everything. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> it's just one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Gosh. Why is there platforming on an isometric fuck fest? Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, what, what am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, fuck off! God damn it. We're gonna die and have to redo the whole stage. See, that guy was fat, so he took more bullets to get murdered. Ugh. I guess he's fine. Here we go again, gamers! Oh! You like how I can't see this guy, but, but he can see me and shoot me? There he is! Okay, <laughs> that blew.
Imagine playing this in original Game Boy Advance. That would suck, because the original Game Boy Advance didn't have backlighting and made it really hard to see. Alright. On the bright side, we can always get an extra life. Little extra max pain. I don't understand how I'm like almost at the end of the game and this is the first one up I've ever seen. Like, how does that happen? Oh, he's up on the stairs! The perspective broke my brain and I, I couldn't tell where he was. I thought he was just kind of like. Man, great. Great. I, 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 sure I'm glad that one up was there. I sure I'm glad this stair work. Oh, you're downstairs now. Ooh, wee. This game just does not know how to handle the verticality. It just doesn't. Wait, why am I up here? Uh, didn't I have to activate this computer? Thought I did. Is that already activated? Can I stand on it? No, it's not activated. So, so what did I miss? There's no exclamation point here. Do I just have to shoot it with my gun? Oh, okay. What's my day job now? Ah, oh, my dude. Fucking... A miserable computer shit. Don't worry about it. Alright, this is the scene where Smiley Lady dies, and I'm very sad because I liked Smiley Lady. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Minimal damage taken. Press the computer button. We already saw this cutscene. And away we go. Right, right, murder a man with a family. Yep. Also, how did they get a shot at me, like, through the corner, before I could even imagine firing a shot at them? How did neither of them die? Look at that! They just fucking fill me full of lead before I get even a moment to move! This game needed a, uh, this game needed polish. It needed polish because it don't got the polish. Oops. Ha. Oops.
I just tried to... I just had to... I just tried to shoot while jumping. Ugh. Oh, right, uh... I, I was trying to get back so I could shoot the fucking mine! <laughs> oh... No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh... Fuck. Let me in! <laughs> Thank you for instantly unloading double Ingrams on me before I even had a chance to process where I am. Good thing I got that one off. The exact same spot. Oh my god. Did you like how much I shot while I was diving there and none of the fucking shots touched anybody? Holy shit! But that's really what it is, isn't it? The enemies can shoot through walls, and I can't shoot through walls. Grab this silly little bottle of pills up here. Head back down. Ooh. Gamers, it's spaghetti night. It is spaghetti night tonight, and I am looking forward to having some spaghetti. I am looking the heck forward to it. This mystery redhead. I don't like her. And any juice? Any pills here? There needs to be more pills here. God damn. You got Taco Bell for lunch? I got an advertisement like like an hour ago about how Taco Bell is like giving. Okay, you know how Taco Bell keeps like cock teasing us with their with their French fries, because you're not allowed to have nice things. They they put a little ad that uh, members with with the app or something I don't remember the details can have early access to to their to their fries this year for three whole days, three whole days this month, and it's like, please, please Taco Bell, please just just bring the just give us the fries forever. Please make the fries permanent. I don't- I'm tired of these silly games. I don't want a season pass to french fries. I just want the french fries. 
While, while we're at it, have you considered bringing back the... The dollar stacker? The dollar stacker was like the best item you've ever had on your menu. And it just disappeared. It just vanished forever, and I, I miss it and I'm sad. Like Taco Bell, I'm getting tired of your nonsense. Like their breakfast quesadilla, one of their most one of the most amazing breakfast items that ever existed. Gone. Taco Bell, you have all those you have all the breakfast quesadilla ingredients out and ready. Just just give me a breakfast quesadilla. Give it to me. Taco Bell, I'm tired of this shit. You used to be number one. But you're playing games with me now. And I don't want to play the Taco Bell game. I don't... I just want to eat the Taco Bell... The, wh what did I call it yesterday when, when we raided Ding Dong's chat? The, the squeaky... What was the squeaky cheeky chalupa? I just want to have the squeaky cheeky chalupa, Taco Bell, that's all. There we go. Alright. Gamers, we made it through this outside section without falling to our deaths due to incompetence. We did it. But we still get filled full of lead by man who has the reflexes of a man who doesn't have to go through loading zones. Shit. You like how the, the exploding mine there did zero damage to double double Uzi boy? Ugh. <laughs> great, great, just lose all my health trying to use the grenade! Don't, don't, don't actually hit people with your gun! Thank you, Maximum Pain, I love you! Fuck! <laughs> Ding dong, two boys. <laughs> no, I want to beat the video game. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. You spawned me right next to him. <laughs> supposed to do there what was I supposed to do tell me what I was supposed to do and I'll do it next time
Thanks, great, good. You know what, that's fine. Just, just, yeah, that, no, that's good, 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 good. I took one. Cool, cool, cool! <sighs> the <sighs> I have nothing more to say about this game, I've already said it all. You can't see the enemies in the room with you. You get arbitrarily frozen during arbitrary events where your enemies can still shoot and murder you. It's just... It's just... They did... It's just... This is a nice... This is a nice tech demo. This is a nice tech demo that needed work before it could really, really really be a, a, a proper video game. Even though it's not true, in my mind, I'd like to imagine that the PC version of this game looks and plays exactly like this, but with, like, higher-res textures and Max Payne model. Watch. Okay, no, never mind. That time I was able to move before they could damage me, but they still did get to fire off shots before I could move. So they very well could. They very well could have damaged me right there. Oh, I can stand up here? What the fuck? Oh, but of course I can't shoot people from up here. Why would I be able to do that? Out of shoddy ammo, so let me switch to something else. Uh, guess we'll take the Ingrams out. A little more shoddy ammo came back, but for now, stick with these. Would repeat the miracle. Can we get through here without falling off? I think we nailed it. Okay, remember, there's gonna be a guy in here who's immediately gonna fill us with lead. Okay, okay.
Okay, same same deal here. There's a man, and there's probably not much we can do about this man. Did you like that grenade throw that just like that that Max spiked like into the fucking ceiling? I liked it. He killed me before Max finished his little enter the room animation. Come on. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, remember, there's boys in here who are instantly gonna murder me. Please have painkillers, you fat piece of shit. Thank you. Oh. No, no, no. That's that's ammo. I want painkillers. I just want to finish this game and make a delicious spaghetti dinner. That's all I want.
Oh, right. Still can't move! Still can't move! Which platform is this? This is the Game Boy Advance. I believe it just stuck me there while they shot me full of lead forever. Like, it didn't give me even the opportunity to move, that's it. It's just, it's just stand there and die, Maximum Pain. Just stand there and die. Doing better with a shotgun. I need to save ammo because life sucks. Okay, this motherfucker is up here, and we're gonna die, and we're gonna cry. <sighs> okay, that could have been a lot worse. pills. Bing bong, hello? Hello? It's me, Max Payne? Okay. Remember, there's BS in this room, so let's deal with it. Alright, check out two of the BS boys. Let's get their pills. I fucking hate this game so much. Everybody who reviewed this game back in the day, everyone, they played the first level and then they put it down and then they wrote a review and then they went home and they jacked off. They jacked off. That's what they did.
now I was going to kill her. The queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money. No begging, no bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who were about to die. Both of us knew how this would end. In pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here. I like how I just have to spend the first, like, second diving and shooting in random directions because I literally can't see in front of me. Uh oh, is this gonna be like Donkey Kong? She's gonna throw barrels down at me? Dude, it's cold out there. Don't go there. She's on board. We're out of here as soon as the wind dies down. Don't look like they're luck or that. Don't look like don't look at that. I couldn't get the horn. I couldn't get to horn. But the radio mast was begging to go. The support chains were about to give. The cables were too thick for bullets. I'd have to find their weak spot to cut them. Cut them with what? Lift off in one minute! What am I cutting them with? Lift off in 45 seconds! Oh! I see what's going on here. Sort of, I don't. 30 seconds for liftoff! Fifteen seconds to liftoff, boys! Okay, ready to lift off in five, four, three, two, some! Oh, okay. Why do I have an M9? Where's my Ingram? Or my Shoddy? Or anything? That didn't count? How, how did that not count? How does that not count? It spawned me with an M9 again. Not even dual M9s, just one. Just the one.
Oh, I guess I wasn't fast enough. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me take like 15 seconds to switch from my, my bad gun to my gun that can kill people. Oh, it, it, I don't know what's going on. Um. Uh. I, I can't move. And Max isn't saying anything. I was able to repeat it. Here's what's happening. Between the helicopter cutscene and Max spawning in, if you change your weapon by holding the L button and pressing a direction, Max will switch his weapon, and then the rest of the game script just doesn't continue. So you're just soft lock when you do that. So the game is all like, oh, you have one minute, you don't have a minute, you have 45 seconds, because that's how long it takes to kill everything. I'm pretty sure once it does the, the we're ready for liftoff thing, I'm pretty sure that means you're already too late. Okay, I thought I'd just try to throw grenades immediately, and uh, no, doesn't that that doesn't work because uh, the, the 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 Billy Boys there come up and they shoot you with with your their gun. I'm pretty sure I lost, like, I'm pretty sure I already lost at this point, because I missed, like, those two or three shots right there. Yeah, no, I lost. I lost. I lost. I'm a loser, baby. Max has to run over there to die real quick. There's no way that, that uh, anyone can do this! 
Did I just shoot her? I'm pretty sure I literally just shot her! I was mashing in all the buttons, including the fire button, so I guess in between her running up there and, and Max spawning in, I fucking shot her. Saving my game every gamer. Saving. Saving game. Well done, you have completed Max Payne. For a further challenge, try DOA in New York Minute. For a further challenge, suck my fucking dick. Infinite ammo, all weapons, super cop. Get bent. God damn, that was horrible. That was really bad. That, that was that was really bad. Like, it's so impressive technically. It's so impressive technically with the 3D model of Max Payne and the diving and them mashing down everything to fit in the Game Boy Advance. But this was a tech a glorified tech demo. Turned into a very painful, very painful commercial game. Technically amazing, but garbage trash to play. Either way, I'm glad it's done, I'm glad I'm over with it, and I'm glad that I can... I can go make some spaghetti now. Alright gamers, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Tune in on Saturday when we play more old Sonic fan games and tear down, and then tune in next week on Tuesday when we start something new. I'm, I'm gonna go not pre-order Glover on Steam. Mario.